The one most important thing to me is gratitude. I try my best to remind myself about how incredibly grateful I am to, well, be living the life I'm living. It sounds cliche, but I used to be so susceptible to the minuscule things in life. Things that, in the large scheme of things, didn't mean much, but I found every possible way for it to take a toll on me. Gratitude is about looking past that small fight with a friend and appreciating the things that we all take for granted. I wake up near the most loving and supportive family I could have ever asked for. Friends that take care of each other on so many levels, and a school with the most remarkable teachers that go above and beyond their job descriptions. Even then, I would be lying if I said I do not absolutely dread going to raw dog or military camp every Saturday. But in actuality, even this experience reflects millions about how we can easily lose sight of the culture that, of the culture of the city that I was raised in. For one, ROTC gave me the chance to share a smile with other locals in Bangkok. But above all, I received first-hand exposure to a whole different way of living that I never considered. From here, I realized that gratitude was merely the start. I recognized how fortunate I was, and this appreciation is what fills my genuine motivation behind my service endeavor. When I walk into the social enterprise I lead called Rescue Glass, our end goal is always tinkering at the back of my head. And yes, jobs as tedious as recording our stocks in Excel or developing our e-commerce store sometimes push me to the edge. But the sheer potential we have to interact with the beautiful community of Mercy Center and educate unemployed young adults to use our glass cutter in order to make an income makes it all worth it. Reinvesting our revenue into projects like PAWS or ASPW makes it more than worth it. The opportunity to lead the Humans of Bangkok Instagram page where we use virtual storytelling to share inspirational stories of people across international schools in Bangkok taught me so much more about the incredibly diverse and impressive array of talents hidden behind all of us. And on another note, when I step out of my love for working in a variety of service initiatives, artistic expression allows me to find my voice, both literally and metaphorically. When I get to sing, when I sing, I get to embrace the butterflies in my stomach and be more confident about who I am as a person. Although I am by no means proficient, I have enthusiastically taken my passion beyond the music room. Alongside other, other avid event planners, I contributed to the planning of our mix-up concert that celebrates the power of music in conjunction with our goal of raising money for the conservation of the Slow Lords. If there is one thing that I can take away from my journey thus far, it is to cherish an everlasting mindset to appreciate the world around me while staying true to who I am and finding my role within that world. After all, isn't that what it means to be a global citizen?